From the soaring heights of Mount Fuji to the bustling, neon-lit streets of Tokyo, from the tranquil gardens of Kyoto to the bustling seafood markets of Osaka, this is a voyage that will awake your senses, ignite your curiosity, and leave an indelible imprint on your soul. Are you ready to embark on an adventure like no other? Brace yourself as we invite you to immerse yourself in the beauty, mystery, and allure of Japan. 1. Japan is an island country located in Eastern Asia. It sits off the eastern coast of the Asian mainland, with the Sea of Japan to the west, the North Pacific Ocean to the east, and is flanked by South Korea, China, and Russia in the northwest. The Japanese archipelago consists of 6,852 islands stretching across a distance of over 3,000 kilometers, 1,900 miles. 2. With 5 million vending machines, Japan has the highest density of vending machines in the world. Batteries, ramen, sake, umbrellas, flowers, and even cars. You name it, and the vending machines probably stock it. 3. Established in 1964, the Shinkansen, or Japanese bullet train, is a great way to explore Japan. It is world-renowned for being a fast and efficient way of discovering Japan. You can spot typical Japanese beauties while on a journey like the colorful flower fields, the cityscapes, untouched nature, tea cropping, small local towns, etc. 4. The Japan Rail JR bullet trains reach a top speed of 320 km per hour, 199 miles per hour. If you plan to go from Tokyo to Osaka, for example, you can take the Takedo Sanyo Shinkansen Line's Nozomi bullet train from Tokyo Station to Shin Osaka Station for a one-way trip that only takes 2 hours and 30 minutes. Before, this same journey took about 7 hours via limited express trains. 5. If you check your zipper, chances are it will say YKK on it, which stands for Yoshida Kogo Kaibushi Kaikashi. Founded in Tokyo in 1934, it is estimated that 7 billion zippers are produced by this manufacturer each year. 6. Japan is home to over 30 national parks which all feature verdant forests and majestic mountains surrounding little pockets of civilization, each with their own unique traditions and culture. Jaunt through Nikko National Park and unearth a multitude of historic sites that make up the shrines and temples of Nikko, designated as a World Heritage Site or spend some time in the fishing towns of San Rico Fuko National Park, gobbling down their fresh seafood cuisine. With the sheer size of some of these national parks, there's plenty to explore. 7. Japanese cuisine has a meat dish named Baishashi, which is made of horse. It is a popular regional Japanese dish consisting of raw horse meat slices with ginger and onions. 8. Hailed as the solo dining capital of the world, Japan's shrinking population combined with an increase of single-person households has meant requesting a table for one is quite the norm. 9. About 1,500 earthquakes strike Japan every year. The frequency of the earthquakes is caused by the location of the country across three tectonic plates called the Pacific Ring of Fire. 10. Japan is well known for its non-stop festivals, but Hadaka Matsuri must be one of the most bizarre. Thousands of Japanese men strip naked in public to secure a fortune-filled year, with the biggest Matsuri taking place in Okayama, where an estimated 9,000 men get down to their fundoshi. 11. All flower lovers should add Ibaraki's Hitachi Seaside Park to their bucket list. Best known for its blue sea of approximately 5.3 million nemophila in spring and bright red cochia or summer cypress in autumn, Hitachi Seaside Park also grows California poppies, roses, daffodils, and even sports a Holland-inspired tulip garden. The fun doesn't stop with the flowers. There's also an amusement park, a children's adventure zone, and 11 kilometers of cycling paths in the 350-hectare park. 12. In Japan, there is a deep-rooted culture called omotenashi, which translates to hospitality, but is actually far more than that. Travelers will often see the spirit of omenitashi in the country's service workers, who are unfailingly polite and kind to all who pass their way. However, it is also seen in the small things, such as how you are greeted when you enter a store, with no need for reciprocation. You will feel welcomed no matter where you go, even if you can't speak Japanese. 13. The Tales of Genji, written by Japanese female author Murasaki Shikibu, is considered one of the world's first novels. 
Written in Japanese between the years 1000 and 1012, it has contributed significantly to Japanese literature. 14. Japan consists of 6,852 islands. The islands were originally attached to the eastern coast of Asia until tectonic activity caused them to split off, creating the Sea of Japan around 15 million years ago. 15. The Japanese language orders words differently than we do in English. Instead of ordering sentences by subject, verb, object, example, I write words, Japanese uses subject, object, verb, example, I words write. 16. Over a thousand tame Sika deer roam the streets of Nara, Japan. Once considered heavenly creatures, the deer are now classified as a national treasure, though some are being culled for destroying plant life, and can be seen bowing to tourists in exchange for crackers that are sold on site. 17. Japan is an archipelago, or string of islands, on the eastern edge of Asia. There are four main islands, Hokkaido, Honshu, Shikoku, and Kyushu. There are also nearly 4,000 smaller islands, too. Japan's nearest mainland neighbors are the Siberian region of Russia in the north and Korea and China farther south. 18. Around late March to April every year, thousands of cherry blossom trees burst into full bloom, feasting your eyes with vivid hues of red and pink and imbuing Japan with a vibrant mood. People all over Japan make merry, holding picnics at parks to admire the cherry blossoms and enjoy one another's company. 19. Japan values good manners highly, but when it comes to chowing down on bowlfuls of noodles, there's only one way to eat, noisily. Slurping is a sign of enjoyment and also cools down the noodles as you eat. Get your chopsticks in one hand and lean over your bowl. Bibs are sometimes provided for foreigners, but by the time you leave, you should be able to polish off a bowl in a white top and walk out spotless. 20. From the 12th century to the demise of feudalism in the 19th century, the samurai were a powerful warrior class in Japan. A samurai essentially had a license to kill, with the authority to strike down any commoner who compromised their honor. Ritual suicide, known as seppuku, was a respected practice for a samurai who brought dishonor to his lord. 21. If you are a fan of scuba diving, head to Ishigaki Island to dive and witness grand manta rays swimming in the Pacific waters. Most times, you would catch these fish swirling in the water, which seems as if they are dancing. 22. The bow is an important form of greeting in Japan, and Japanese people work hard to perfect it. The depth of the bow is significant. Lower bows indicate more respect. 23. The kimono is a traditional Japanese garment worn by both men and women. It consists of a long robe-like dress that is wrapped around the body, with the left side always covering the right. The obi is the belt that keeps the kimono secure. A single kimono can cost over $10,000. 24. Geisha, known for their elaborate hairstyles and white makeup, have been entertaining in Japan since the 18th century. The white powder covers most of the geisha's face and neck, though unpainted spaces creating a W shape are usually left on the neck, which is considered alluring. 25. Traditional Japanese rooms are tiled with tatami, or mats made with rice straw. A mat's length is always twice its width, and its size is standardized depending on the region. For that reason, room size is often indicated by the number of mats needed to cover the space. 26. Japan is home to the Japanese macaque, or snow monkey, which lives in colder climates than other primates. The Nagano Prefecture is known for its macaques, who bathe in hot springs in the winter. 27. Japan is made up of nearly 7,000 islands. The little island of Okonoshima in the Inland Sea is best known for its curious, big-eared population. The island was used to test chemical weapons during World War II, and it's said that test subjects roam free after the war. Either way, the numbers flourished in a predator-free environment, dogs and cats are banned from entering, and today Okonoshima is a popular spot for cuddle bunny tourists. 28. The number 4, shi, is widely avoided in Japan, since it sounds too similar to the Japanese word for death. Keep an eye out in Japan, and you'll notice buildings don't have a fourth floor, items are sold in sets of three or five, and special care is taken to avoid encountering the number in daily life. 29. In Japan, people don't have signatures, they have their own seal. Known as Hanko, the seal is typically your name translated into kanji characters and are made from silk or plant-based paste. Adults will often have three Hankos, one for signing off letters in personal matters, a bank seal, and an identity seal. 
They're not necessary for tourists, but foreigners living in Japan can have one handmade in small local shops. 30. During the feudal period, wealthy Japanese lords built homes with deliberately squeaky floors, known as nightingale floors, as a defense measure against ninjas. The highly trained, legendary mercenaries of feudal Japan were so steeped in myth and folklore, they were said to be capable of walking on water, turning invisible, and controlling natural elements. That's got to be motivation to put down some new flooring. 31. Japan is an anglicized version of Japan's name, Nihon or Nippon, and is rarely used by Japanese speaking their native language. In early text, however, the names Oyashima, Mother Island, or Yamato, which was written with the Chinese characters for Great and Wa, were used. 32. Almost four-fifths of Japan is covered with mountains. The Japanese Alps run down the center of the largest island, Honshu. The highest peak is Mount Fuji, a cone-shaped volcano considered sacred by many Japanese. 33. Japanese name order follows the East Asian style, putting the family name first and the given name second. For example, in the name Suzuki Hiroshi, Suzuki is the family name and Hiroshi is the given name. 34. By contrast, many Western nations, particularly those using the Latin alphabet, use given names followed by family names. Individuals from Japan who live in Western nations may follow the Western tradition of putting the family name second, especially when their names are written in Latin characters. For a time, even those living in Japan sometimes put their family name second when their names appeared in Latin characters. 35. The Japanese language is full of funny expressions and sayings. One of them is Kingayo no Fun. It refers to someone who persistently sticks around even though they are not welcome. A hanger-on or someone who persistently sticks around. People like this in Japanese are known as Kingyo no Fun. 36. In Japan, there is a strict rule about naming the newborns. This is due to the fact that Japanese people believe in the force and impact of the name on the child's destiny. The parents have no right to choose any names which might be considered ambiguous or that may carry bad energy. Back in 1993, some parents started to call their children Akuma, which means evil. These parents were sued and the kids received a new name. Thank you for watching. Which country would you want us to cover in the next video? Let us know in the comments and make sure to subscribe.